Hey YouTube, Shay Nish here. Thank you for coming by my channel, Shay Love Hair. Today we are going to be talking about this hair that I have installed. The curl pattern is called Tyra, but it comes from a black owned company called Be Famous Beauty. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. Shout out to Be Famous Beauty for sending me this hair. So let's just get started with the video. So first, there is an installation video out for this hair, and it is a um, refresh daytime, nighttime routine video as well. I'll link them below, but go ahead and watch that install video, especially so that way you kind of know what we're talking about. And then come back and let's show you about this hair. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the fam. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any more videos, okay? Now, as I said, this hair comes from a company called Be Famous Beauty. Yes, this is the same company as Pure Beauty. And some of y'all had, on the installation video, um, reached out and was like, you know, I heard they had problems with shipping. You know, they had some bad reviews. That did happen. But she has, like, rebranded. She has hired more staff. She explained the entire situation where she was just kind of running the whole thing herself because, you know, it seems like the whole thing had blew up <laughs> overnight to me. But um, she was saying she was running everything kind of on her own. But now she's hired staff, and that's really, you know, not been an issue going forward. She's been handling her business. So, you know, from this point, back you know if you've had issues with them just please try her again you know this is a black owned company and right now with everything going on we all need each other so give her a try i really think you would be pleasantly surprised um when it comes to the shipping and the customer service and the overall hair but we finna get into the hair um i've had this hair in for about three weeks now no i've had this hair in for a full three weeks and a few days as well so almost almost four weeks um how it's packaged okay there is <laughs> there is one package and in one package she has four bundles i use two bundles so there's enough in one package for two installs so then also the package came with this um with this crochet snapback spray um, and then I had to message her because I was like, now look what's in this. Because y'all know, if you've been a part of the fam, I'm allergic to everything. Like everything. I'm really, I'm allergic to like mineral oils, synthetic um, waxes, stuff like that. Baby, I had me in the ER so quick. So, I had to message her and I was like, hey, what's in here? <laughs> but she assured me, she was like, no, 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 it's all natural. But then she also suggested, you know, do a patch test just in case. And um, I did all of that. I actually used it in the refresh video and everything went well with that. It kind of smelled like fabric softener almost. But it's like a little bit more of a perfumey smell. But it gives me, it gives me down with a little perfume in it. I don't know, but it smelled good. And it actually did help. Usually, you know, I'll just spray my crochet hair with water. Um, but that it gave it a little bit more slippage and it was actually a lot easier to detangle. So I was very surprised with that. Um, I can't compare it to like Hawaiian Silky or anything like that because I know a lot of people use and love Hawaiian Silky when detangling their crochet braids, but I'm allergic to Hawaiian Silky, so therefore I don't know, uh, you know, if it's better or, you know, worse or whatever. Um, so, sorry about that. But um, as far as the hair goes, uh, the install, the install was fairly fast. Um, again, because I only needed two bundles. Um, I mean, if you wanted it bigger, you can go for it. This hair has calmed down. You know, crochet can either go one way or the other. Either it's going to get bigger or it's going to calm. This one is a calming one, so it doesn't really get bigger as you go on. Like, it is, as you see, if you went and watched the install video, it had a little bit more, mm, you know what I'm saying? And so now it's kind of calm. So... 
I still really love the hair. The curl pattern is not anything I've ever experienced. Neither is the texture. I can't even explain to you the texture. It's like, um, it's like, um, okay. It's soft, but not silky. And it has texture, but it's not kinky. <laughs> I don't know. There's no comparison for the the texture. It, I've never I've never felt anything like it. I really do like I've really enjoyed the hair, and it's again unlike anything I've ever tried. And I definitely want to try other curl patterns. So y'all drop it in the comment section. What kind? You know, you might want me to try because I'm definitely intrigued when it comes to this brand. Now, on their website, they do have other hair that, of course, I've tried on this channel before. There's other big name brands um, like Free Tris, uh, Kima, stuff like that. Um, but they also have uh, other creators um, like, I want to say her name is I Am Nubian. Um, I'm new to watching her stuff, but... Um, I've been following her on Instagram for a little while now, but anyway, so she has like her own line on there. So this is one of those that you can't go get out of the store. This is the Strictly uh, Be Famous Beauties uh, line, Be Famous Beauties line, okay? So you can't go get this in a store. You have to go to BeFamousBeauty.com and order the hair. Okay, so like I said, the install was fairly simple. I used the basic install um, technique. I did not like do any really knotless. I didn't want to do um, any seamless. I just really wanted a classic crochet because I do understand that not everybody is, you know, an expert or even intermediate when it comes to crochet. So sometimes it's just easier just to do a classic crochet and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever if it's neat it is beautiful in my opinion and so i just wanted to put something out that everybody can do who can braid now i do know i do know that some of you want me to start doing braidless crochets i know i hear you and i'm gonna do it i really am but y'all have to know i do not like them i do not I do not like them because they're not they're not versatile at all. Like, you know, I like to flip my hair all kinds of ways. And so I'm in my head trying to think how I can make a braidless crochet be versatile. Because I need it. I need my hair flip. I need it. I live for that. You got to understand. So I'm trying. I'm coming. It's up here. And I'm going with it. I ain't ignoring y'all. I'm coming with it, okay? But this is just a classic crochet for those who can braid, you know, a little bit or good, whatever. Because, um, you know, braids don't have to be perfect as long as they're secure. Um, and I just wanted to make sure this was, you know, something simplistic that everybody could do. Especially this being a black company. I wanted everybody to be able to get in on board, okay? Now, what I did do... I did secure it. I did not feel comfortable <laughs> installing it. Being that I have never experienced this hair before, being that I have never experienced this texture before, I definitely did not want to install it and not secure it. And the hairspray method, yes, that's great if you know that the hair is going to frizz eventually, but I didn't know if this hair was going to frizz or not. And if it was, how much? Was it going to be enough to secure the knot, you know, in a few days? Like, I didn't know. So instead, I use the double knot method. And for those of you who are not familiar with that, I have a video on how to secure your knots. Go check that video out. It'll definitely help when you're installing different kinds of crochet because different kinds, you know, require different securing methods, just depending on the texture of the hair and also how long you want to keep it in. But yeah, so I used the double knot method again on this um, classic crochet. Um, it is going to probably make it a little bit more difficult to take out, no lie, um, but it was worth it because I didn't really have to worry about slippage because the double knot, it's not going nowhere, period. It just ain't going to go nowhere. So, 
I really did, really, really did enjoy this hair. Like, now, so let's get to the details instead of my opinions. Um, so the hair is not itchy. It's very lightweight. Again, you only use two bundles of the hair. I mean, how heavy can that be? Like, even when I, like, for the last few days, I've worn it in a ponytail to see. Because, you know, some hair, if you put in a ponytail, it could get too heavy. Um, this hair was not heavy at all. The ponytail was even light. Okay, so the maintenance on this hair. Now, just to say again, of course, I have a refresh video and a nighttime, daytime routine video for this hair. Now, if you see me make a video like that, that's going to probably mean that the hair is not low maintenance, right? And let me first explain to you what low maintenance is for me. I don't like to do right. For the fam that's been around for a while, y'all know I don't like to do right. I don't like to wear a shower cap. I don't like to wear bonnets. I don't like want to have to get up in the morning and like froof it or untangle it every night. I want to be able to put it in a bun when I go to bed, like a little pineapple or something. And if it's the weekend, I want to be able to put my glasses on and leave it in that messed up bun, you know, with some sweats and going about my day. And then on Monday or Tuesday or whenever I wake up and feel like looking like somebody, I want to be able to take it down, swing it around and go. That's not this hair. Now, that's not to say that it's a bad hair because y'all know I love Kima Ocean Wave. Kima Ocean Wave is a high maintenance hair, but I still get it. Like, I love it. I know when I get it that I'm going to have to do something to it. And that's just the mindset I have. This is that hair. I'm not saying this hair is like severely high maintenance. It's not as bad as, as like Kima Ocean Wave. It's not. Because Kima Ocean Wave hair, you know, it has that loose, loose pattern and it shows everything. This is not like that. Because this is a tighter pattern, it doesn't show so much. Like the, the little frizz, the little tangles that it gets, it doesn't show really bad. So it's not like you have to go into detail, you know, trying to refresh it. But you will have to refresh it after a weekend like I explained. I have. Okay. Now, the good thing about that is the snapback is real. It really is. Like you're going to come back right after that refresh. Like it's like boom, you there. Some hair, once it go left, there's no coming back. Like, and I don't know if it's the spray that they provided or if it's just the texture of the hair itself. But once you detangle it um, and, you know, trim off the little frizzies that might come off off the end, it's right back. Like, I didn't have to cut the length on this hair or anything. A lot of times, you know, I have to cut a lot of the ends you know and all of that because like the ends get really rough and the change or they get stiff and all of that and this still has all of its body like every bit of it like from the very beginning that has not changed so like i really like and i'm not even saying it just because it's a black owned company which that's just the icing on the cake you know what i'm saying but i love this hair like, it was just because I guess I get into the routine of so many um, of the big companies and the same name brands. And, you know, they all start to kind of look the same for real. Like, to me, it's only about 10 patterns for real. To me, when you go in the beauty supply store, there's 10 patterns with 100 different brands of the same damn 10 patterns. Like, that's what I see. Because when you... Oh my God, do you know how many crochet braid styles I've had? Like, I've been wearing crochets for years before I even started this YouTube channel. Like, there's only so many. And I feel like, and I, I don't know this to be true. I didn't read it anywhere. I did go try to look, but I didn't see it. But I really feel like this is like a combination. Like, I don't think all of the hair is the same pattern. I mean, for those of you who have wore the hair... Let me know what y'all think. Or, you know, Nicole, if you watching the video, let me know. Is it? I mean, you got to tell us what pattern it is, but let me know if I'm if I'm crazy or not. Because I, I really feel like this is a mixed pattern. It kind of reminds me like when um we did that, uh what was that hair? 
the belly wave and the um oh, it's belly wave and something. I can't remember, y'all. It's way too early. And I overslept. So anyway, it, it just reminds me of a combo curl. And it's just and it feels different. It looks different. And it's kind of like when you walk in, like, oh. Like, it's really cute, y'all. I really, really, really love this hair. So, y'all, please go check out Be Famous Beauty. I give this a 10 out of 10. I do love it. It is high maintenance. Yes. Is it Kima Ocean Wave high maintenance? No. But you're definitely going to have to do something to it. But that's all good because, you know, Shay got you. The videos are there. Go check them out. See what you need to do. I will not go into what I did at night or in the day or the refresh. Why? Because there's a video already out for it. So go check that video out. Again, I'll link it down below. And, you know, I'll put it, I think it's on this corner somewhere. That little bullet up there to tell y'all what I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting y'all to watch. Whatever. <laughs> go check those videos out. If I miss anything reviewing this hair, please, please put it in the comment section. Y'all, I got all kinds of crazy brain right now because I did not sleep well. So, you know, it, it's early. It's early and um, mm, there's a lot going on. So I'm trying to make sure, like right now, I'm trying to go through my head and trying to think, did I forget anything? But I really don't. I don't think I did. Anyway, if I did, if I didn't answer your questions, put it in the comment section. Y'all know I'll be standing by when this uh, video posts and I got a tablet in hand, like ready to respond, like what's up? Like <laughs> I'll respond. And if I don't respond, you know, that day, whatever, you know, I'm coming and I will respond. So I think that's it, you guys. Thanks again for all your love and support. Y'all go check out Be Famous Beauty. I'll put the link below. And um, if you have any questions, Put it in the comment section. Y'all be safe out there and I'll see you next time.